Did you know a single Boeing 747 contains approximately 6 million nuts and bolts, enough to fill several rooms from floor to ceiling? Every year, billions of nuts and bolts are produced worldwide, demonstrating their fundamental role in nearly every mechanical and structural application you can imagine. These tiny titans of industry do more than just hold the world together. They represent the culmination of centuries of engineering progress. From the earliest wooden pegs and metal clamps used in ancient constructions to the precision-engineered steel fasteners that secure the integrity of today's skyscrapers, automobiles, and machinery, nuts and bolts have been essential in driving technological advancement. The transformative era for these fasteners began in the 15th century with the advent of the first machine-made screws, signaling a significant leap in construction and assembly techniques. However, it was the Industrial Revolution that heralded the age of the modern nut and bolt. This period saw the standardization of threads, a revolutionary development that facilitated the mass production of interchangeable components. The introduction of standardized nuts and bolts changed the landscape of manufacturing, enabling complex machinery and structures to be assembled from components produced across the globe, laying the groundwork for the modern industrialized world. So, how do they do it? The basis of every nut and bolt lies in the careful selection of raw materials, with high-strength steel alloys standing as the material of choice. These alloys, celebrated for their robustness, are crafted from a blend of iron and carbon, often enriched with chromium, molybdenum, and vanadium to enhance their strength and resistance to wear and corrosion. The procurement of these materials is an important step, involving the sourcing of high-quality steel from reputable steel mills known for their adherence to rigorous quality standards. In the steelmaking process, these elements are melted together in precise proportions under controlled conditions to create the steel alloy. The alloy's specific composition can vary depending on the requirements of the nuts and bolts being produced, such as whether they need to be especially resistant to high temperatures or to corrosion in marine environments. Once the alloy is created, it is formed into long rods or bars, which serve as the basic raw material from which nuts and bolts are made. The manufacturing process of nuts and bolts begins with high-strength steel rods and blanks, carefully transformed into the indispensable fasteners that play a crucial role in almost every mechanical and structural domain. For bolts, the process starts with steel rods that are precisely measured and cut to length. These pieces are then heated to a malleable state and forged under immense pressure, shaping the head and forming the basic outline of the bolt, including its unthreaded shank. This forging not only gives the bolt its characteristic shape, but also enhances its structural integrity by aligning the metal's grain. In parallel, the manufacturing of nuts involves heating steel blanks before forging them into the rough outlines of nuts, typically adopting a hexagonal profile to facilitate easier gripping by tools. This step is foundational, creating the basic form upon which further refinement will be based. Following their initial formation, the focus shifts to threading, an essential feature enabling bolts to fasten materials securely and nuts to fasten onto bolts with precision. For bolts, threading is achieved through a process where the shank is rolled between dies that impress the thread pattern onto it. This method is favored for its efficiency and the superior fatigue resistance it imparts to the bolt. Nuts receive their internal threads from a tapping process employing a tool that precisely cuts the thread inside the nut, ensuring a perfect match with the bolt's external threads. After shaping and threading, bolts and nuts undergo a critical heat treatment process. Bolts are heated to a high temperature and then quenched, a method that significantly increases their tensile strength and durability. Nuts, similarly treated, see an enhancement in their resistance to shearing and stripping, ensuring that they can reliably secure the bolt under various loads. This heat treatment is vital, modifying the internal structure of the metal to meet specific mechanical properties required for their intended use. To increase their corrosion resistance, nuts and bolts are commonly treated with a layer of zinc, a process known as galvanization. This involves coating the metal surface with zinc, either by dipping the fasteners in molten zinc, hot dip galvanization, or by electroplating them with zinc, electro-galvanization. The zinc layer serves as a sacrificial anode meaning it will corrode in place of the steel, significantly slowing down the corrosion process of the underlying metal. In the hot dip galvanization method, the fasteners are immersed in a bath of molten zinc, 
heated to around 450 degrees Celsius, 842 degrees Fahrenheit, which ensures a strong, uniform coating that is metallurgically bonded to the steel for enhanced durability. This protective barrier is particularly effective in preventing rust, which is a common issue for steel components exposed to moisture and oxygen. Over time, even if the zinc layer begins to wear or is slightly damaged, it continues to protect the steel by galvanic action, ensuring the longevity and integrity of the nuts and bolts in various environments. Galvanization is not only a cost-effective way to enhance the durability of fasteners, but also contributes to their aesthetic appeal, adding a shiny, uniform finish that is both functional and visually pleasing. Following their detailed manufacturing process, nuts and bolts undergo a comprehensive final quality inspection to ensure each piece adheres to the strict specifications for size, thread integrity, and overall quality. This critical evaluation employs advanced equipment, such as micrometers for precise measurement and thread gauges to verify the accuracy of thread patterns, ensuring that every fastener meets the high standards necessary for reliability in their intended applications. Once they clear this essential quality assurance phase, the nuts and bolts proceed to packaging, an important step for their distribution. Sorted accurately by size, type, and finish using sophisticated automated machinery, this process guarantees precise organization. Integrated within this system, counting devices accurately tally the fasteners, readying them for packaging in quantities that meet diverse market demands, from bulk industrial supplies to retail assortments. In the packaging stage, fasteners destined for industrial applications are bulk packed in durable containers, while those intended for retail sale are placed in smaller, clearly labeled packages. This detailed packaging ensures that consumers can easily identify the fastener's specifications, facilitating their selection for a wide array of projects, from straightforward home repairs to more ambitious DIY tasks. This careful approach to packaging not only safeguards the nuts and bolts during transit, but also ensures they are readily available and convenient for users, solidifying their role as foundational components in projects worldwide.